Well, as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur in tech health, and a woman in M health, what are the challenges being a, a woman? Well, um, first of all, I guess there's challenges and opportunities here. Uh, first of all, I think there's probably never been a better time to be a woman entrepreneur. Um, there still certainly are not enough women entrepreneurs out there, but uh, what's nice to know is that the entrepreneur, the entrepreneurial community the inve- and the investing community has noticed this and noticed what a problem it, it is, um, and everybody's trying to address that. I think also... Women, um, I, I guess um, the economic situation has prompted many women to want to take their careers into their own hands. Um, and so I know for me that it wasn't about the economy, but it was more about me just wanting to take my career into my own hands, period. Um, wanting to take that kind of risk and um, see if I could go it on my own um, and, and build up a team around an idea that I really believed in. So from that perspective, I think there's a lot of opportunity. In terms of the healthcare perspective, um, of course, being a woman, I think, gives us a, a certain perspective on healthcare that is unique and different to that of men. Um, and I also think that in families, really, the, the people that are the ones in the family thinking about the, the healthcare um, thinking about the children and their health, I think that more often falls to the women to think about. And maybe that's because of our responsibilities or socialization or whatever. But I think that it tends to be the women in the household that tends to be the most concerned about seeing that everybody is, uh, you know, being healthy and things like that. So, um, and of course, you know, women, many of us, um, you know, in the situation to either become mothers or are already mothers, I think that also gives us kind of a, a unique perspective on, on healthcare. And so I think that's really important that there still aren't enough women entrepreneurs in, um, in the, at the convergence of medicine and technology. And so I think that represents an opportunity for women mobile and e-health entrepreneurs too, to kind of represent that voice that has previously been been missing all this while. Um, in terms of uh, challenges, um, I still think that the kind of entrepreneurial ecosystem is still not as female friendly as one would hope it is. Certainly the investment community, even though they've woken up to the idea of female entrepreneurship is something that is important to support. The reality is that most investors are men. Most VC firms have max one female partner. Um, and, um, you know, there are many VC firms that have no female partners at all. And in the angel investing communities, there are now uh, some emerging, more and more um, emerging women-focused angel investment groups, but still by and large, um, I've certainly gone into angel presentations where there was not a single woman present except for the receptionist or secretary who helped arrange it and, and brought me my tea and coffee. So um, that, that has been pretty sad to see. Um, and that what that means, though, is that for me, it's not so much in, intimidating as it is just the, the chances of being able to make a personal connection with those investors. And so obviously, uh, if you're an investor, you think about there's a lot of things going through your head, but many times it comes down to, do I see some of myself in this young entrepreneur who's coming to present? And, uh, you know, if, if you're a female entrepreneur and all the people you're meeting are middle-aged men, um, you know, the likelihood that there's going to be some kind of a common bond there is probably lower than if you were facing a, a few more females who might see some of themselves in you, see, see their younger self in you, and, and want to take a chance on, on somebody with passion and a great idea um, and, and some excellent skills. So I think that still remains a challenge. Um, I think the other challenge is in the technology community. The, the truth is that most developers and engineers are, are still men, and I'm hoping that the high schools and universities are working to change that. 
But it means that if you're an entrepreneur, a female entrepreneur, you need to hire and manage men. And often when you're starting a company, you don't have a lot of resources. Um, and so a lot of what you need to sell is your own vision and ability. And I can't say that this is really true for myself. In fact, my entire team today is all men. <laughs> um, it hasn't always been like that. We've had certainly had uh, interns and contractors that have been female, but in the core team, I'm the only female, um, and my two co-founders are men. Um, you know, but speaking to some of my fellow female entrepreneurs, I think they found it difficult to attract um, good technical co-founders because the engineers that they were speaking to often were men, and they had some suspicion about the ability of their female CEO to lead the team, to raise money, um, and to understand technology enough that uh, they would be able to be a good partner in running the enterprise. So it, it's pretty sad to see that uh, women are still coming upon these challenges, but I don't think that is really stopping most of my fellow uh, female entrepreneurs, and it's great to see that they're forging ahead um, in spite of these challenges. And I think we need to see that more and more. And I, I'm happy to be, um, you know, leading the charge and uh, being one of these these women that's, that's trying to do this despite the odds. No, that's precisely why I'm speaking with you too, because um, part of what I'd like to, to learn is I think that you and women like you are an inspiration. And I'd like to get this message to young girls. So if you were speaking to um, a, a high school or college girl that is – considering um, science and technology, what advice would you give? Don't be afraid. I mean, there's no real reason, and don't be intimidated by the fact that you might be the only girl in your class. Um, you know, take it to your advantage. If you want to study engineering, um, and that's something that you're really interested in, then go for it. Do it. Um I think maybe one advice I would have to give, though, to female entrepreneurs is that they need to, um, or, or, or young aspiring entrepreneurs, is to find a mentor. And um, okay, um, that um, there are there are enough um, inspirational females in technology and science and entrepreneurship that. Uh, you know, I think that we're all willing to be matched up with a high school student who wants to learn more about our career paths and how we came to do what we do. And I think that's, that's really important. Well, I think that's great news.